Betelgeuse will disappear forever. Betelgeuse was already a very large star before it inflated into a red supergiant. These types of stars generally have much shorter lifespans than our sun, for example, which has already been around for 4.5 billion years and is expected to continue shining happily for another 4.5 billion years. Ever since we learned that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant star at the end of its life, astronomers and space fans all over the world have been waiting for this once-in-a-century event. Witnessing a supernova live is a once-in-a-lifetime event, and it is doubtful that we will see it. There are different opinions about when Betelgeuse will explode. The excitement was already great in 2019 when the red giant star showed a noticeable decrease in its brightness. Not only were global experts and star researchers in an uproar, but the press was also full of reports. Some newspapers reported signs of the coming supernova, and suddenly all eyes turned toward the constellation of Orion. Then came the official statements from the leading Betelgeuse experts who were of the opinion that Betelgeuse would become brighter rather than dimmer before the final end. The researchers were proved right. The anomalies in Betelgeuse's darkness continued into 2020 and then went down in the history of astronomy as the Great Dimming. In February 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness reached an all-time low. After intensive investigation, astronomers determined that the dimming was caused by a massive ejection of hot gas from the surface of Betelgeuse. The gas cooled, forming a dense carpet of dust particles that blocked the star's light for months, causing the observed decrease in brightness. In 2023, the astronomers suddenly recorded an increase in brightness, and again the question arose as to whether this unexpected change could be an indication that we would soon see the supernova. The astronomers waved it off. The vast majority of experts agree the sudden 50% increase in brightness does not indicate an imminent explosion but is a kind of aftereffect of the great dimming from 2019 to 2020. The large amount of dust and gas ejected during the dimming had disrupted the normal brightness cycles of Betelgeuse. Detailed investigations have shown that the anomaly took place within a long-known 400-day cycle during which Betelgeuse brightens drastically without being associated with an imminent explosion. The 2020 event shortened the normal 400-day cycle to around 200 days. This shortening meant Betelgeuse's increase in brightness not only occurred earlier but was also more intense than usual. Dying stars are both a drama and a stroke of luck. I bet you didn't know that our bodies and our Earth are made from the elements of dying stars. In addition to the history of our universe, researchers have also reconstructed the ways in which matter and elements were formed. This revealed that the first stars and their explosions played a significant role in the evolution of matter. In the beginning, the universe was rich in light elements. The first stars were therefore also very light supergiants with a very short lifespan. Within this short span of existence, the giant stars converted hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion, releasing enormous amounts of energy which made the stars shine. Eventually, when the supply of hydrogen ran out, they fused helium into heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. These processes eventually led to massive supernova explosions that scatter the heavy elements into space, contributing to the formation of new generations of stars. As these events continued, new generations of stars, planets, and finally us with our bodies were formed. The oxygen on our planet, the water, and the fertile soil on which we live were formed. To this day, Enormous stars distribute their elements throughout the galaxy and the entire universe. At the end of their lives, when Betelgeuse explodes, millions of tons of material, including dust and gases, are blown throughout the galaxy. New stars and planets are then formed from these elements in other places. So when Betelgeuse begins its final act, it will not completely perish. Large parts of its mass will be recycled. At the place where Betelgeuse once stood, a neutron star or a black hole will remain. Despite these legacies, Betelgeuse will no longer be visible to us. Almost everyone who is interested in astronomy and space or constellations knows the star as an important part of the constellation Orion, the mythological hunter and fighter with its distinctive sword. Orion is one of the best-known constellations in the night sky. Betelgeuse, in Orion's shoulder, has been a guiding star and the center of legends and myths for thousands of years. When it is gone, an era will disappear with it, and the constellation of Orion will no longer be the same. 
Only those who are superstitious or believe in the old legends believe that this will have any social impact on our planet. Even after the supernova explosion of Betelgeuse, our globe will very probably continue to rotate as normal. For our science, the ongoing dramatic changes on the surface of Betelgeuse and the valuable insights that follow are a real treat. Witnessing the final stages of the life of a massive star like Betelgeuse is a unique opportunity. In the last century, improved technologies have allowed researchers to observe some supernovae in distant galaxies. But here in our own Milky Way, just 650 light years away from us, this event is once again of much greater interest to science. So, Betelgeuse's fate is both a drama and a stroke of luck. At the same time, we will see it with the naked eye. One thing is already certain. Betelgeuse's dramatic finale will be visible to the naked eye from Earth. This offers a unique opportunity to experience the powerful explosion up close. The explosion cannot be that far away because Betelgeuse has already used up its hydrogen supply. When the hydrogen in its core ran out, the star began to fuse helium into heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. These fusion processes released enormous amounts of energy thousands of years ago, which kept the star stable and caused it to glow. Over time, the fusion processes became even more inefficient. Eventually, layers of different elements formed in Betelgeuse. Helium fused in the center to form carbon and oxygen, while hydrogen was still fusing in the outer layers. The fusion of heavier elements slowly releases less and less energy, and the core will eventually collapse. The final collapse of Betelgeuse's nucleus is caused by gravitational force, which compresses the matter in the nucleus to such an extent that the electrons are pushed into the atomic nuclei. This will lead to a sudden increase in pressure and temperature, causing the nucleus to be torn apart in a massive explosion, which we then see as a supernova. During the explosion, huge amounts of energy are released, propelling the outer layers of the star into space at incredible speeds. These layers contain a large number of heavy elements that were created by the fusion processes inside the star. These elements are scattered into space and contribute to the formation of new stars and planets. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the event will shine so brightly that we will be able to see it in broad daylight for a few moments. It will be like a bright flash. Then the remnant of the explosion will continue to shine brightly for several weeks to months. Betelgeuse will become one of the brightest objects in the night sky. The supernova will probably shine as brightly as the full moon for weeks. Now you're probably wondering when this will happen. Well, the final explosion should be noticeable by a sudden increase in brightness. Within a few days, Betelgeuse will increase in brightness and then explode. So, if you regularly look towards Orion and a star shines brightly there, it could soon be time. Scientists say that the finale could come tomorrow or perhaps not for another 100,000 years. The first supernova observed on Earth, Kepler's supernova, was a rare event, and scientists have only recently become aware of this phenomenon in our own galaxy. It's estimated that a star explodes every 50 years, but we do not see many supernovae. The last supernova visible and documented from Earth was Supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud, a small neighboring galaxy of the Milky Way. This supernova was discovered on February 24, 1987, and provided astronomers with a valuable opportunity to study in detail the physical processes and aftermath of a supernova explosion. Even further back in history, there was SN 1604, also known as Kepler's supernova. In 1604, the famous astronomer observed the apparent birth of a new celestial body in the constellation of the Serpent Bearer. This supernova was so bright that it was visible in the daytime sky for several weeks. Kepler was astonished to note in his diary that a star had been born that shone almost as brightly as the moon. Betelgeuse will vanish forever once a colossal star. Betelgeuse expanded into a red supergiant, a stage of stellar evolution with significantly shorter lifespans compared to our sun, which has endured for 4.5 billion years and is predicted to shine for another 4.5 billion. Since discovering that Betelgeuse is a red supergiant nearing the end of its life, astronomers and space enthusiasts globally have eagerly awaited this rare celestial event. Witnessing a supernova is an unparalleled experience, but it's uncertain if we will observe it. Opinions vary on when Betelgeuse will explode, and the anticipation heightened in 2019 when the star's brightness notably diminished. 
the global scientific community and media were abuzz with reports as some suggested signs of an impending supernova, drawing attention to the constellation Orion. However, leading experts on Betelgeuse asserted that the star would likely brighten before its demise. They were correct as the anomalies in Betelgeuse's brightness persisted into 2020, leading to what became known as the Great Dimming. By February 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had reached an unprecedented low. After thorough investigations, astronomers attributed the dimming to a massive ejection of hot gas from Betelgeuse's surface, which cooled and formed a dense dust cloud obscuring the star's light for months. In 2023, Astronomers recorded a sudden increase in Betelgeuse's brightness, raising questions about a potential supernova. However, most experts believe this change is an aftereffect of the great dimming from 2019 to 2020. The large dust and gas ejection disrupted Betelgeuse's usual brightness cycle, with the 2020 event shortening the typical 400-day cycle to around 200 days. This shortening led to an earlier and more intense brightness increase occurring within a known 400-day cycle unrelated to an imminent explosion. The dying star's dramatic changes provide valuable insights into the elements of dying stars, which form the building blocks of our bodies and planet. Researchers have traced the origins of matter and elements, revealing the crucial role of the first stars and their explosions in the evolution of the universe. Initially, the universe was rich in light elements, and the first stars were light supergiants with short lifespans. These stars converted hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion, releasing vast energy and causing the stars to shine. As hydrogen depleted, helium fused into heavier elements like carbon and oxygen. These processes eventually led to massive supernova explosions scattering heavy elements into space and contributing to the formation of new generations of stars. Even today, enormous stars distribute their elements throughout the galaxy and the universe. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will disperse millions of tons of material, including dust and gases, leading to the formation of new stars and planets. Despite its dramatic end, Betelgeuse's mass will be recycled, leaving behind a neutron star or a black hole. Betelgeuse's disappearance will alter the constellation of Orion a significant part of mythology and astronomy for thousands of years. While some may view this change as socially impactful, the Earth will continue its rotation as usual. The ongoing dramatic changes on Betelgeuse's surface offer a unique opportunity for scientists to study the final stages of a massive star's life. Improved technologies have allowed researchers to observe supernovae in distant galaxies, but witnessing one in our Milky Way, just 650 light-years away, is of immense scientific interest. Betelgeuse's finale will be visible to the naked eye from Earth, offering a rare chance to experience a supernova up close. The explosion, following the exhaustion of hydrogen and subsequent fusion processes of heavier elements, will cause the core to collapse due to gravitational force. This collapse will lead to a massive explosion visible as a supernova. The explosion will release vast amounts of energy, propelling the star's outer layers into space and contributing to the formation of new stars and planets. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, it will shine brightly, visible even in daylight, and for weeks it will be one of the brightest objects in the night sky. While the exact timing remains uncertain, regular observation of Orion might reveal the star's sudden brightness increase as a prelude to the explosion. Historical supernovae like Kepler supernova in 1604 and supernova 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud provide valuable insights into these rare cosmic events. Betelgeuse's supernova will offer a unique opportunity to study the physical processes and aftermath of such explosions in our galaxy.